Why an orchestral album? Um, one, I love orchestras. I've done a lot of film scores. I love the sound. I love the way it can transport you too. It's a very, very natural form of music, all acoustic instruments. And three, a symphony orchestra can underscore lyrics uh, like no other medium. Hamilton and I go way back. I played with the Hamilton Philharmonic in 1974 for the first time. Uh, Carol Kehoe, the current executive director, just loved the idea of a guy who's from Hamilton, whose songs have played around the world. Wouldn't that be a, a wonderful integration with the Hamilton Philharmonic Orchestra? We're gonna hear basically the A Life in Song CD, which has not been recorded yet, in the air first with this orchestra. Writing for orchestra, for me, is a lot like writing for film. What I hear in my head, I play on samples. And then I have this wonderful piece of technology called Peter Cardinale. I get a phone call, oh, maybe a little tweakage here, Ian, a little tweakage there. And so he's my incredible ally to getting this thing, orchestra, ready. The thing with this is it's not a sweetener, what they used to call it when you do a record and then you bring in the sweetener like strings and horns and all that. This is actually re-realized for orchestra, so orchestra is going to be integrated into the song. Some of the songs have been changed around, a little different. You'll recognize every song, but a different approach to it, and that's what uh, is going to make this really nice. I wanted to make the songs uh, an integral part of the orchestra. I didn't want it just to be a pop band drowning out the violin players. So I had to totally reimagine some of these songs. Re-envisioning the song in another way that wasn't dependent on drums and the, the guitar parts, surrendering a lot of that to orchestra. It's about another language. It's about making sure everything you are thinking converts to that other language right on the page. started talking about this album. The idea was to have a record finished and ready for this, this concert. And I thought, you know what? Why not take this opportunity to hear the charts, make whatever tweaks you need to make, and then do the recording? The difference between the synthetic strings and real strings is the air. It's the air around them. It's a hard thing to describe. It is why I think Orchestral music remains a real serious instrument for underscoring movies. Symphony orchestras have the air around them. Dialogue can get through, whereas synthesis is way more dense. Halfway back in the orchestra level, the strings turn to silk. It's an old instrument that has taken years to design and hearing that going on behind you, it's a, it's a pretty heavy feeling. It's wonderful. So the Hamilton uh, Philharmonic Orchestra concert uh, was really just a wonderful run. The feedback from both the orchestra uh, and the audience was exceptional. So now we want to take this on the road. We think we can play this concert internationally. We think most orchestras are going to be interested in this because it's a certain type of approach to it. It's not a pop band with sweetening. All the songs are integrated into the orchestra, which I think really makes this thing uh, something exceptional. Mm -hmm.